Good day, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In an age of scientific advancement and technological marvels, we find ourselves at a precipice, facing an unseen threat that looms over humanity, a new disease poised to erase millions. This message, rooted in the prophetic visions of Mirjana of Medjugorje, serves as a somber reminder of the fragility of life and the urgent need for spiritual awakening and preparation. As the veil of complacency lifts, we must heed the warnings of divine messengers who implore us to recognize the signs of the times and respond with urgency. As we navigate through an era marked by unprecedented global connectivity, the emergence of new diseases has become a recurring theme. This latest affliction, born from the depths of nature's dark corners, is said to originate from bats, creatures often associated with the unknown and the ominous. It is a harbinger of our disconnection from the natural order, a potent reminder of the consequences that arise when humanity strays too far from its moral compass. Mirjana's visions reveal a dire truth. This new disease will not merely present itself as an ailment. It will act as a divine chastisement, a call to repentance, forcing humanity to confront its arrogance and ignorance. The symptoms will not be subtle. Those affected will experience a rapid deterioration of health, with fever and respiratory distress as the initial manifestations. This is not just another virus. It is a relentless force that will sweep across nations, thriving in our negligence and our disregard for spiritual truths. In her profound encounters, Mir Jana has been entrusted with messages that resonate with the urgency of our times. She has seen visions of a world plagued by despair and suffering, a world where the new disease spreads like wildfire, erasing lives and leaving devastation in its wake. Her messages carry a prophetic authority, urging us to awaken our senses and our spirits. She speaks of a time when the disease will strike without warning, affecting people of all ages, and the death toll will rise alarmingly. This new affliction will know no boundaries, transcending geography and socioeconomic status. It will manifest in the most vulnerable, those whose lives hang in the balance, caught in the crossfire of humanity's spiritual neglect. The virus, with its insidious nature, will replicate with alarming speed, overwhelming healthcare systems and plunging societies into chaos. The origins of this disease trace back to the animal kingdom, specifically to bats. These creatures, often viewed with fear and misunderstanding, are integral to our ecosystem. However, as humanity encroaches upon their habitats, the delicate balance is disrupted and the consequences are dire. The zoonotic transfer of this virus serves as a grave reminder of the interconnectedness of all life. It is a manifestation of our hubris, a consequence of our refusal to recognize the sanctity of creation. The mechanism of this disease's transmission is equally alarming. It will spread through respiratory droplets, contaminated surfaces, and even through the very air we breathe. The unsuspecting will become vessels for this invisible enemy, unaware of the havoc they may unknowingly wreak upon their communities. As Mirjana's visions unfold, we must prepare ourselves for the imminent arrival of this disease. It will strike in urban centers, where population density amplifies its spread. Major cities, teeming with life and energy, will become battlegrounds for survival as the virus moves with relentless speed. The timing of this outbreak is uncertain, yet Mir Jana emphasizes that it will coincide with a spiritual crisis, a moment when humanity's collective conscience is at its lowest. In her vision, Mir Jana saw the horrifying progression of the disease with startling clarity. The initial symptoms resembled a simple flu, high fever that left victims drenched in sweat, a deep cough that racked their bodies, an exhaustion so profound that even the smallest movement felt like an immense burden. Faces turned pale, their eyes sunken with fatigue, as they struggled to stay upright, feeling as though their energy was being drained with every breath. But this was just the beginning. As the disease advanced, the true horror became clear. The fever spiked to unbearable levels, causing violent shivering and uncontrollable chills. Victims gasped for breath, their chests heaving as their lungs filled with fluid. The sound of labored breathing filled the air, each breath a desperate fight for survival. 
the once routine act of drawing air into their bodies became a painful struggle, as if their very lungs were collapsing under the pressure. Their skin grew pale, and in the worst cases, took on a bluish tinge, signaling the body's slow suffocation. Mir Jana saw bodies racked with convulsions, limbs trembling uncontrollably as the disease spread through their system, causing excruciating pain with no relief in sight. For many, consciousness slipped away, leaving them in a state of delirium, unable to recognize loved ones or comprehend their surroundings. The disease's progression was rapid, relentless. Pneumonia set in with a vengeance, their lungs filling with liquid, drowning them from the inside. As they succumbed to respiratory failure, even basic medical interventions proved useless, and their bodies were left utterly drained, a mere shell of the person they had been just days before. The death toll from this impending crisis is expected to be staggering. Marjana's warnings convey a sense of urgency and inevitability. Millions could be lost, not just to the disease itself but to the chaos and fear it engenders. As hospitals become overwhelmed and resources dwindle, the fabric of society will be tested in ways we have never imagined. In light of this grave prophecy, we must not succumb to despair but rather respond with urgency and hope. The time has come for a collective awakening, a return to faith, a revival of spiritual practices, and a commitment to the virtues that bind us as a community. Mir Jana urges us to take action, to seek God with fervor and sincerity, to engage in prayer and penance, and to renew our commitment to one another. First and foremost, we must cultivate a deeper relationship with God through prayer. Mir Jana emphasizes the power of collective prayer, urging us to gather in communities, to lift our voices in supplication for mercy and healing. As we unite in faith, we create a protective barrier against the onslaught of evil and disease. Furthermore, we must support one another during these trying times. Acts of kindness and compassion will be our armor against despair. We must become beacons of hope for those around us, offering solace and encouragement to those who are suffering. Together, we can weather the storm and emerge stronger. While we turn to the divine for guidance, we must also heed practical health precautions. Following medical advice, practicing good hygiene, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle will be essential in mitigating the effects of this impending disease. By caring for our physical bodies, we honor the gift of life that God has bestowed upon us. Finally, let us engage in advocacy for justice and compassion. As we confront the systems that perpetuate inequality and suffering, we must advocate for those who are most vulnerable. Mirjana's vision calls us to action, to be the hands and feet of Christ in a world that desperately needs healing and hope. As we stand on the brink of this impending crisis, let us not forget the power of faith and the promise of divine mercy. Mirjana's messages remind us that even in the darkest moments, hope persists. We must navigate the turbulent waters ahead with courage and conviction, knowing that we are not alone. The path forward will require unwavering commitment to our spiritual lives, an embrace of community, and a readiness to face the challenges that lie ahead. In this moment of prophetic warning, let us respond with hearts full of faith, ready to confront the coming storm with strength and love. Together, we can rise above the fear, transcending the shadows of despair, and forging a future that is rooted in hope, faith, and unity. As we heed the call of Mirjana of Medjugorje, may we become instruments of peace and healing in a world that yearns for redemption. Let us pray fervently, act justly, and love tenderly as we prepare for the trials ahead, confident in the knowledge that, together, we will emerge victorious.